YouTube is happening. It is Saturday, September 14th, and you can see we're doing things a little bit differently today. So I'm a little short on time with football starting early and everything because college football is a big day around here. Uh, a lot of things to do, games all day. It's madness. It's crazy season. Uh, I do not have the time to go to the full baseball slate like I usually would, So, but I did go through enough of it to where I'm not doing props today. We're focusing mainly on money lines and totals. That's all we're looking at. So uh, we see we have all the games here and I didn't want to leave you without a video because I know a lot of people come here looking for stats and I know you want to see things like this. You want to see the spreadsheets and everything that has all the data, the trends. So I want to make sure I get that for you still. So we're still going to run through each game, like 30 seconds each game. So you're going to have a nice, short, quick video here. I'm going to tell you what I'm playing. I'm tell you what I'm passing on, what I'm leaning. Uh, if you're here just for the plays and not the data, what's wrong with you? No. Go do your own research and then watch some other videos and try to figure out the best play. Don't, just don't blindly tail people. That's how you lose overall in the long run. Come on now. You should be better than that. No better. So be a better, better. So, so if you, yeah, come here for the stats, make sure, you know, pair it up, do some research just because my angles are different than other angles and my angles are right. Sometimes they're wrong. Sometimes others are right. Sometimes they're wrong. This is gambling. It's all really educated guessing in the long run if you think about it. So. The best better is hitting 56%. If they're saying they're hitting 70, 80, they're a damn liar because they ain't. So anyways, enough of the rant. Let's move on. KC and Pitt is your first game. And we're going to one take Jake this bad boy today. So there's no need for breaks and everything because we're going to roll through. You can see on the batting stats who's done what. You can see that KC's trended up a little bit. Pittsburgh trended down a little bit. The runs are about the same little bit for there. The averages are there. Uh, looking at the pitchers, you can see that uh, for KC and Pitts, it was uh, it's going to be Waka and Keller. I mm, I lean over in this one. I don't know if I'm yeah. I'll, I'll lean this one. I don't fully take this. I'm gonna start putting leans and everything because one of people, some people want to know, do I lean it or do I, I fully love it? If I love it, I'm playing it. If I lean it, I might play it in like a parlay or something. But if I pass it, you'll know I pass. So for this one, uh, go back to it. For the KC pit game, I'm definitely leaning over of eight, and I lean KC on the money line, but I'm not going to play anything by itself. I'll throw it in some parlays later for fun, but that's it for this one. Let's roll on to the next one. Let's go to game two. It is going to be Boston and New York, and what a what a wild game yesterday. Judge hit the home, the grand slam. Ooh, craziness. Uh, but you see the stats are pretty much damn same. Look at the numbers. Everything is pretty much the same. The trend lines are the same. Nothing standing out uh, for the pitchers. We pop over here. We can see we got Bello and Cole going against each other. We can see that right there. Uh, I take Cole in this one. Let's be honest. I, I, Bello, eh, you're okay, but you're not Garrett Cole. And then you come back over to the numbers. Everything's the same. I I would take New York in the mainland. There's two weeks left to the playoffs. Let's have some fun. Let's not worry about bands and not. Eh, let's have fun. I'm I'm taking New York in the mainland parlay. I don't care. I'm doing it. So there you go. That's it for that one. Let's move on to game three. You can see now we got St. Louis and Toronto. And the numbers, again, are pretty close to similar. Everything is, look at these numbers, 0 0.005 off, 0 0.3 off. I mean, come on. Uh, this one I have as a pass. I will show the pictures as well. You can see it's Gibson and Berrios right there. Those are your pictures. Uh, but I passed on it because everything, even the pictures are pretty close. Nothing truly stood out to me. So... Uh, going back to here, I didn't like anything, like nothing at all. So, uh, so let's go on to game four. Game four, you get the Mets and Philly. Mets with the explosion of runs yesterday to get 11 runs. Philly only had three. So that made the Mets go, ooh, and the Philly go, ooh. And then you see the, but the batting averages are close to the same. It just didn't make much sense. Um, they're both not striking out much. Looking over at the pitchers, you can see that uh, Severino and Allard, Colby is doing pretty good in his three starts. Uh, Severino is Severino, who is just always pretty good as it is. So uh, nothing, again, nothing stood out. They're both pretty equal in my mind. I lean Severino just a little bit because we have more of a data with him. Uh, Colby's only pitched three games this year, so it doesn't really tell us much. So, but looking more at this, I mean... I know there's a trend out there that a team that loses by more than seven runs, you want to take them the next game. So I lean New York based on the stats, but that trend does scare me. So I'm going to pass on this one and just move on to the next one. So 
which would be game five, which is Miami in Washington. And you can see the stats here, how they go. Miami's offense just hasn't done anything recently. They had one run yesterday. Uh, Washington had four, which I believe Washington's officially eliminated now. I believe that's a thing. Welcome to the elimination pool, Washington. Yes, vacation starts soon, buddies. Don't worry. Uh, let's look at the pitching. For this one, we got Belozo and Patrick Corbin going out there. Uh, Corbin's been good. I just, I've been, I've been ragging on Corbin hard this year and just have not gotten the, what I expect. I mean, there's been a couple games he got blew up, but I mean, I just haven't, nothing's been bad. So I, I lean Washington in this one. I lean it, um, on the money line. I don't, I, I don't, I don't lean, uh, Belozo. <laughs> so I just can't, I, yeah, so even. So Corbin's been, he's been terrible. He's been good. And he's been only terrible twice that I know of. So yeah, if I had to back someone gun to head, I'm taking Washington. So I'm going to put them in the middle of that parlay. You know what? I'm going to, I'm, we're putting Patrick Corbin and the Washington Nationals into the main line parlay. And I don't feel bad about it. So that's right. I did that. So there you go. Um, move on to the next game. Tampa Bay and Cleveland, you can see the offenses are just the same. I mean, every every game is the same right now. It's just everybody's pretty close on everything. So makes it harder to figure out what to do around here. But it's one of those days. Um, Tampa, Cleveland, you got Rasmussen and Cantillo. I don't. Mm, this is kind of an ugly game. Let's just be honest with those two pitchers. And then you got this information here. I I can't lean Cleveland. Look how bad the offense has been recently. Tampa's been better, but this is just ugly. So I passed on this one completely and just, I moved on. So as anybody would, because it just isn't good. Um, Baltimore, Detroit doesn't even have a damn pitcher listed. So uh, you see Detroit's doing damn Detroit things again. Undecided, nothing listed, but Corbin Burns is pitching. But Corbin Burns has been absolutely awful since, um, let me pull it up real quick. Corbin Burns, I, yeah, I can show a little bit, so game log. Here we go. You can see, look at these numbers. This isn't all-star starter numbers. This is just awful. So, I mean, these two games aren't as bad, but I'm just be honest. He's, yeah. Um, and then you got to come back over here and look at Baltimore's actual stats, and you're like, Bleh. you batted .036 yes, in your last game, which was yesterday. And you, 30th. Yeah. Who, yeah. If anything... Um, I would say a nerfy, but we don't know who Detroit is throwing out there as a pitcher, so I can't take that. Uh, over under is currently sitting at eight. I like that. We'll take the under of eight because I just don't like the offenses. So um, under of eight, we will we will play that. So no problem there. All right, move on. All right, moving on to Oakland and Chicago. The White Sox have just checked out. Let's be honest. They're on a four-game losing streak. There's two weeks till their vacation starts, and they're going to have a great time there. So, uh, I mean, 1.3 runs, buck 90. The veterans are done. They gave up. Uh, Oakland, I lean it a little bit. And if we look over at the pitching, we can see that you got JT and Chris Flexing going out there. But, the, I mean, you come back over to the stats on the bats, and it's just not pretty. Oh, no, go back. It just isn't pretty. So, I mean, just, yeah, I lean Oakland, but I'm not going to officially play Oakland in the money line parlay. But, uh, I mean, Flex has got to win a game eventually, right? <laughs> you would think. You would think. But 115 losses tells you differently. So, um, what is the spread? What, what are we thinking? 160? You know what? The hell with it. We're putting Oakland in the money line. This is a... Fade the White Sox. They're they're on Cabo mode. They're already on vacation in their mind. They got two weeks and they'll be sipping on champagne, enjoying the good life of being a, a high paid athlete. So <laughs> moving on, moving on. Uh, let's move to Cincinnati and Minnesota. We see in this one, Minnesota found the offense for one game and then went right back to 161 and a four runs there. Uh, since he got eight, a buck 88. You can see how they did. Ooh, and then Minnesota went down. So you, I mean, eight to four yesterday pitching today in this one looks like we have nick martinez and simeon woods richardson we can see them there cool 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 nothing truly stands out um elite minnesota in this one obviously um uh, because of the pitching uh how has nick martinez been doing actually let's take a little look see game log it up okay hold up hold up i might uh, nick martinez uh yeah your last game against the Braves was great. Okay. Okay. 
I might have to roll with Cincy though. What is this? What's the spread right now? Total, 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 total. Minnesota by 150. Ooh. Um, okay. With the offenses the way they are, what's the total? Eight and a half. Okay. I think for this one, I actually lean the under. Even though the offense spite for Cincy, I think I still lean the under. We got two pretty good pitchers going out there. All right. So I lean under. I don't fully love it. Eight and a half. Um, but yeah. They'll go on a parlay because I still I have parlays every day. So, but it's not going to be like a straight bet thing. So, leans are out there. Uh, let's pop on over to Dodgers Braves and we can see what's going on here. Uh, the Braves won six to two yesterday. We can see everything that happened. Uh, yeah, it's yeah, then we got teed off for a little bit. So, look at the pictures today for them. Looks like we have Flaherty and Sale. Damn, that's a matchup. Okay. That is one hell of a matchup. Okay, okay. Um, ah, I mean, Sale. I like Sale or Flaherty. Atlanta's offense is doing better than the Dodgers. I, what's the spread? Oh, I mean, what's my on? One twenty for Atlanta. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I'll take Atlanta. We're gonna do it. We're gonna take Atlanta. I think Chris Sale is just amazing. Flaherty's not bad, but he's not Chris Sale, let's be honest. So I'll, I'll take Atlanta money line. I will not put them in the money line, though. Money line's reserved. So they're going to be their own thing just by themselves because there's only 120. So that's not, not, not a big deal. So, um, ah, what the hell? Let's throw them in the money line. <laughs> We're having fun. Who cares? Let's just do it. Why not? It's just a parlay. Let's sort of fun stuff. Let's pop on over Milwaukee, Arizona. You can see. Look at that little roller coaster right there. Look at that. Look at that. And then Milwaukee looks like grass on our looks like my front yard. Just straight, nice, perfectly flat yard. Because that's where Milwaukee's offense has been. It's almost like Milwaukee's checked out too, but yet they're 85 and 62. It's like they're like, we're gonna make the playoffs. We're good. Let's just chill. That's what it feels like. But then Arizona one to two. Ugh, terrible. Who's pitching today? In this one. We scroll down. Tobias Myers and Brandon Fought is pitching so that's a matchup no one really cares about <laughs> so i mean oh i I gotta go arizona right even they lost two to one yeah i'm going arizona i don't care <laughs> until milwaukee can show they can do anything offensively because these numbers are not doing anything this is terrible i mean yeah arizona fell from number one for one game but maybe we'll see if they bounce back because the spread is 150 yeah all right, Arizona can join the money line ranks. I'll have to do two different parlays, I think. I'll split them up. So why not? Um, what's the total? Total on this one is eight and a half. Yeah, I don't trust that one, Milwaukee. Can't do that. So, all right, let's bounce on over. Cubs and Rado. Lots of offense. Five to nine. It's in Coors Field. That's what happens in Coors Field. Total was like 11 yesterday. What's the total today? Total today is 11 again. Okay. Cool. Pitching today. Who's giving up the runs? Who's giving up all the runs? Italian and Freeland. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of lean the over. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaning over. Um, uh, no, I'm not even leaning over. I'm taking the over. Over 11. Both offenses are doing good. We got two pitchers that have been giving up. They've given up some runs. I feel good there. Yeah, it's in Rado. It's in Coors. Coors, we love runs in Coors. Both teams are hitting the ball great. Look at these averages yesterday 351 353 like come on you don't just cool off like both teams won't cool off somebody's going to keep up the runs nine to five yeah i could see us hitting 11 so let's do that keep it moving uh san diego and the giants it's all san diego does it feel like these two teams have played like nine straight games in a row it feels like it i almost think they have it's just yeah so um i've been doing it i'm going to keep doing it san diego money line <laughs> they're gonna they, they've lost a couple times, the Giants, but they've won a few too, so... And who's pitching? That might help if I look at that. <laughs> oh, San Diego. We got Joe Musgrove and Mason Black. Yeah, I'm taking Musgrove. Um, what is Mason Black? What has he done recently? I am curious now. Game log. You are a starter. You went 4.2 and did not look good. Against San Diego, your last time out. That's all I need to say. I'm good. I'm peachy. I'm Gucci. We got San Diego on the money line. And we're good there. Let's move to the next one. 
See, short and sweet. There's no point of breaking super hard into these. Houston's offense has been absolute. Look at all this single digits in this column right here. Angels, I mean, they're looks like they're trying, but they're not really doing well. It's just, yeah, Houston all day. Uh, Houston money line. Who's pitching? This is to verify. Go back to the pitchers. Houston is Verlander and Tyler Anderson. Yeah, we're taking, we're taking Houston. No worries there. Um, yeah, we're going to split that. We'll add that Houston. <laughs> so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven money lines. And that leaves one more game. One more game is Texas and Seattle. Cool. All right. Looking at these stats here, they're about the same. Texas is slightly better than average, which is, but not the last game. Seattle was bad. Seattle was better in the 5 4 win. Um, don't really like this one. Let's look at the pitchers. Who we got? Oh, it's Scherzer. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Scherzer's going today. Mm. And Logan Gilbert. Logan Gilbert. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't trust the Seattle pitching staff anymore. Outside of Wu, I just don't, even really then, I don't trust Wu either. So I think I kind of want to go with Scherzer. I think I like, what's the Texas money line? Oh, it's plus 140. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll leave it alone. Okay. Hmm. All right. We'll leave that alone. That's, I don't want to take plus 140. They know something. Some, something's afoot that I'm missing. So, and uh, if it's weird, something, the odds are that off like that. And I thought they'd be favored. They're plus 140. I'm missing something that I have not had the time to look up. So we're going to avoid that. So um that breaks it all down there's all the games money line parlay is well there's four of them so let me take out one and drop it to six let's take out washington that's the one i want to take out against miami just them just being eliminated yesterday i want to see what happens in the first game so we're going to take washington off so we're going to lean washington but not put it in there uh money line parlay we're going to group them as such one and two Moneyline Parlay 1 and Moneyline Parlay 2. We got Yankees, Oakland, Atlanta, Arizona, San Diego, Houston. And I want to keep them by times. That way I have a group and a group. So Yankees, Oakland, Atlanta all seem to play around the same. They'll play first and then I'll move Arizona, San Diego, and Houston to their own group. So two, three game parlays. And that's all the plays we're going to have for today. So uh, you heard all the plays. That's all there. I appreciate you watching and appreciate you subscribing. This video was much shorter. I got it under 20 minutes. Look at that. Look at it go. So very abbreviated. Let me know in the comments what I missed, what I overlooked. Uh, there might be some key injury I did not hear about or research this morning. Like I said, it didn't get to do all the prop research, which tells me a lot about players. So that helps me a lot too. So uh, again, I appreciate you being here. Uh, other than that, we will see you tomorrow for more baseball and peace.